Act now 514 and from the power of pink to making beautiful music. Here are the five things that you need to know for the day ahead. Well, authorities in Fairborn will spend the day preparing for the worst. Calamityville launches its first training and complex vehicle course. Local EMS and Air Force medics will practice rescuing victims from vehicles like school buses, industrial tractors, and armored vehicles. The training begins around 1.30 today. Beaver Creek firefighters will put their skills to the test as well during their final fire train training burn. Uh, they've been setting small fires to this home in the 1200 block of Dayton Senior Road. Fire crews are practicing their response to attacking the flames, airing out the building and looking for victims. Now, later this morning, they're going to burn the entire house to the ground. All right, it's going to be a power of pink at the Bellbrook girls basketball game. It started after a, a player's mom, Gail Lynn Joyner, lost her battle to breast cancer in 2003. The annual foundation game was started in her honor to raise money for the Susan G. Komen Foundation. Tonight's game is at Kenton Ridge High School. The JV plays at 6. The varsity takes the court around 730. And it's the final day for a holiday tradition in Dayton. The Christ Episcopal Church's Waffle Shop will serve breakfast and lunch from 11 to 2. It's located inside the church on West 1st Street. A portion of the proceeds benefit area charities, and the fundraiser is in its 83rd year. Congratulations. Well, this afternoon, some Dayton students will fine-tune their musical talents and teach their parents a thing or two. Cue the Music introduces musical instruments to third graders at Ruskin Elementary. And thanks to the Dayton Philharmonic, the students receive free instruments and instruction. This afternoon at 4, Ruskin students will teach their parents what they've learned and will perform a concert for them. You can always find more information on these or any of today's top stories online at WDTN.com. Ladies, 